good. <laughs> you still look good here from my end. Okay, so let's continue. Okay, now let's do the next word, and that is how do you pronounce this word? Number four. Number four is facade. Facade, right. Okay. F, <laughs> F and the inverted E is the schwa and should be pronounced fa, right? And mm -hmm. sad, okay. sad with the A with two dots on top is mm -hmm. short A, right? Okay. Like rock, lock, mock, right? Uh, Remember? Mm -hmm. Okay. So mm -hmm. that is facade. You know what facade is? Mm -hmm. Have you seen? No. Okay, let me go ahead and get some facade for you. One moment. <laughs> facade. There we go. It. There we go. Here. This is a facade of a building somewhere in Europe. I don't know exactly where, but this is a facade. See? Uh, Did you see okay. that? Mm -hmm. Okay, so it's a summer. Yes. Isn't that uh, it, it is summer? Thais uh, uh, front of building, right? It's the face. It's the face of a building. Right? Okay, okay, okay. Like us. Okay. Our face is our facade. Okay. 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 okay right. So let's is go it, ahead. It, mm -hmm. Before is it very similar word to describe it. I think it is pronounced facada. So in Polish. So. No. It's, it's In English, it's facade. Yeah, but uh, in Polish, I think uh, the word uh, facade, mm -hmm. uh, facade in Polish is facada. Ah, oh, uh, okay. So the word. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. So that's how you pronounce this in your language, facada. Yes. Oh, very yes, good. Yes, yes. Thank you for educating me and teaching me some, or at least, a Polish word. Okay, mm -hmm. now let's read. Here, the C is the S sound. That's why it's facade, right? Okay. For some time, the C can be represented by K, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, but this time it is S. Now, can you read the front, the meaning? Mm, the C is the S sound, uh, the front of a building. Any size of a building given special architectural treatment. Uh, okay, let's pronounce that. R. R. K. K. E. Tech. Architect. Chu. Chu. Rural. Rural. Architectural. Architectural. Very good. Architectural. Architectural. Very good. You sound very, very good now. All right. Please read the example. Uh, example. The facade is made of limestone. Very good. Another example is? A person facade is the image the person presents to others. Behind her facade of gentleness was a thought competitor. Very good. So can you say persons? Person. Yeah. S with S. Persons. Persons. I can't hear the S. Did you say S? Yes, person. There, I heard. I heard it. Okay. If I'm able to it, yeah, I didn't say. I see. So, what do you think about that? A person's facade is the image that person presents to other. Say, mm -hmm. for Can example, me, yes. for example, <laughs> me. <laughs> see. <laughs> I look good. I look ugly. I, I look like I'm a terror, but inside me, I'm soft person, 
and I'm kind, right? <laughs> All right. But sometimes others would represent themselves like someone who can be looked up to, but inside them they're wicked, you know? Okay. All right. So, the next sentence behind her facade of gentleness was a tough competitor. So, the lady, maybe because it's her, was very soft spoken very gentle as if she cannot break a glass you know very dainty but then you wouldn't know she's a competitor right uh -huh. okay. okay good all right so what are the synonyms please synonyms outside skin surface banner veneer veneer very good all right next number five how would you pronounce this word by merely looking at the guide for pronunciation? Where is the stress? Can you tell me, please? Okay. The stress is... Uh, the third syllable, syllable. Third syllable, or you can say last syllable, okay? Okay, last. Okay, last yeah. Very good. You're very good at determining where the stress will be and how many syllables are there in this word. Okay. <laughs> so it should pronounce. It should be pronounced like asai. Okay, asai. Asai. All right. Can you say that again? Asai. Without the guide for pronunciation, and uh, just looking at A C I. AI, how are you going to pronounce this? Asai. No, without looking at the guide. Say, for example, this is your first time you saw Asai. 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 Okay. That is good. But it is better to have the guide for pronunciation so you will not be pronouncing the word incorrectly, right? Okay. Uh, yeah. Yes. So let's read the meaning, please. Okay. A small, round, dark, purple fruit from Brazil that people believe is good for their health. All right. Can you say Brazil? Brazil. Very good. That's the only thing you mispronounced, okay? Now, let's continue for the example, please. Okay, example. The cocktails are made of tropical ingredients such as fresh, Passion, fruit, and acai berries. Berries. Okay. So, it's a berry supposed to be very, very good for you. Can you say that, please? Mm -hmm. Berry. Please read the sentence. Barry. Okay, okay, because uh, I didn't see it. Okay, okay. <laughs> it's a, a berry supposed to be very, very good for you. Thank you. Often, go, go. Go ahead or no? Okay, so often put uh, in smoothies. And yes, I've definitely heard Americans pronounce uh, this acai. I mean, with the letters that pronunciation would make sense in English, but it's acai. Acai. All right. <clears throat> Excuse me. Did you know why I asked you to read berry supposed to be very, very good for you? Because I want to test if your B and your V will be interchanged. Some people would read, it's a very supposed to be very very good for you mm -hmm. and that is wrong remember in english you are always i mean there is always not you there's always a confusion on how to pronounce the letter v and the letter b and also mm -hmm. the letter f and the letter p sometimes mm -hmm. father is pronounced father and sometimes paul is pronounced fall See, so there's confusion. Mm -hmm. Always just remember how to right. use your oral motors. When it is V, it should be V. And if it is B, it should be B. If it is F, okay. then use it F. If it is P, then use it P. P with a air. P. Okay? okay. Would you do that yourself, please? Mm, which sound? 
B B B <laughs> But I don't know what I can uh, what I should do now. <laughs> ah, okay, pronounce B and V and then P and F. Okay. Just say No, no. Just say letter B, letter F, letter P, letter B. Okay. Uh, B P B F V F. Okay, B F. Okay. Right. okay. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Be patient. Remember all right. <laughs> so there are no synonyms for this because this is a kind of fruit. So let's continue with number six. How do you read this without a guide? Without? Without the guide for pronunciation, how are you going to pronounce this word? Vague. Very good. Vague. So, E, I, and A with a long, oh, with a line on mm. top is long A, right? Long A. Right. So you have to pronounce this like vague. All right, please read number 1A and up to number 2A. Okay. Not clearly expressed. State in, in the finite terms the vague accusation. Okay, please hold. Let us pronounce indefinite. Indefinite. Accusations. Accusation. All right. Not clearly expressed. Stated in indefinite terms, vague accusations. Mm -hmm. Stated in indefinite terms, vague accusations. All right. Accusations. Please, I mean, express it very clearly. Accuse. Accuse. Accusations. Accusations. Very good. I can hear it clearly now. All right. That's not having precise meaning, a vague term of abuse. Mm -hmm. Not having a precise meaning, a vague term of abuse. Precise. Precise. Very good. All right. Next. Number 2A. Number 2A. Not clearly, clearly defined. The speech or understood. In this speech, only a vague no notion of what needed. All right, let us pronounce clearly. Clearly. There you go. See, when you articulate, you can pronounce the words clearly, right? Mm -hmm. I saw it yeah. in you because you used, you twisted your lips. You twisted your lips and you used your tongue. Clearly, you said. Right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Let us say defined. Defined. Very good. Can we say grasped? Grasped. Grasped. There you go. So, ED should sound T. After the letter P, it should be T next. Grasped. Grasped. Very good. And notion. 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 Very good. Yeah. Well, I want you to read 2A again, please. Uh, okay. Um, one. Okay, okay. A bag hint of a thickening waistline hasn't the vaguest idea. All right. Continue, please. Not, uh, not clearly thought or sense. Somewhat, somewhat subconsciously. Some subconsciously. Okay, okay. Let's stop. Subconscious. Look at my lips. Subconscious. Subconscious. Shus. <laughs> shus. It's not shoes. It's shus. 
Subconscious. Yes. Okay. Subconscious. Very good. I love it. Okay, number three, please. <laughs> oh, hold on. Three. One moment. Because my other students cannot pronounce longing. Can you say longing? Longing. Longing. Drop your jaw a little bit. Just very subtle. Longing. 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 No. Use your soft palate. Inside the soft. Near the curve this way. That's mm -hmm. a soft palate. Longing. So, mm. the middle of your tongue should mm -hmm. touch your soft palate like long. Okay. Ning. Longing. Can you say that, please? Longing. Not ging. Don't say ging. Longing. Sen. Longing. No, I don't want to hear G. Longing. Longing. Very good. You got it. Again? Longing. Very good. I love it. Thank you. See? But, okay, but what, what, uh, could, you, could you write this word with a pronoun? Ah, oh, sure. With a guide for pronunciation? You mean? Without, yeah, because Without. I, I'm not sure. That's it. Longing. Okay. It's there on well, your example. Well, but what does it mean? What is the meaning of that? Yes. Okay, like for example, I have been longing to see you in person while we do our class. Remember? I told you several times that can we do a video call? So I was longing to see you. Meaning, I was hoping that we can do a video call. You, for example, when <laughs> you, for example, you missed your parents, right? And you long to see them. So you're okay, longing okay. to see them again or visit them okay. and maybe hug them, right? Okay. 